After winning three World Rapid World Championships, Magnus Carlsen was about to get his fourth. Having defeated Ali Reza Feruzja and Jan Krzysztof Duda in the World Rapid semifinals, and being placed number one in the tournament with a 7.5 out of 9 score. However, despite Carlsen's clear domination throughout all of his matches, giving him nearly all wins, there was another player completely destroying this tournament. Abdusatarov Nodirbek, a 17-year-old who was an absolute grandmaster murderer. Having defeated top 10 chess juggernauts such as Levon Aronian and Fabiano Caruana, Nodirbek was not just playing. He was out for blood, and next up, he was facing Magnus Carlsen. Now, while Nodirbek was a complete super talent, this wasn't new to Magnus, as Magnus was THE super talent, having defeated Anatoly Karpov at an incredible age of 13. But it becomes clear Magnus underestimates exactly how good Nodirbek is. After starting the match and preparing their pieces, Nodirbek starts with C4, which Magnus spends 20 seconds thinking about before responding with Knight F6. Upon the first few moves being played, the match turns into an English opening with the White's pawns on C4 and E4 and Black's knights on C6 and F6. After a few more developing moves, Magnus moves his queen to F6, offering a queen trade to Nodirbek's queen on F3. This decision asks Nodirbek if he's willing to trade into an early endgame, but since Magnus Magnus is known to be a god in endgame positions, being able to create wins out of the simplest endgame positions, Nordirbeck quickly declines, moving his queen back to d1. In this position, Magnus realizes it's a good time to attack, so he plays his pawn to g5 with a goal to then play his other pawn to h5, attacking White's king, which up to this point has been safely hidden behind three pawns. Magnus offers another queen trade on g4, looking again to trade into an endgame. It is also at this moment Magnus picks up a piece and starts fidgeting with it, usually a sign that he is calculating more complicated lines at this stage of the game. Already deep in thought, Magnus is spending some time calculating while Nordirbeck makes his moves fairly quickly, his body language looking almost impatient. After a few moves, Nordirbeck has gotten his pawn to g6, which Magnus defends with g8, allowing Nordirbeck to move his pawn up again, just one square away from getting a queen. If Nordirbeck is able to promote his pawn, he will win the game. Magnus quickly moves his queen to h7, trying to take the pawn. While trading off pieces, Magnus makes a quick expression of annoyance. He knows Nordirbeck is playing great. The game is traded off into a position where all material is equal, but Nordirbeck has a passed pawn on h2, which is very dangerous. Thankfully, Magnus still has time to defend it. His first route is to play his knight to c5, which, while seemingly threatening a pawn, really doesn't, as if he takes the pawn, then queen to h3 will win the knight with check. A few more moves are made before anything else substantial happens. Two pawns are now traded off. Magnus now knows it's very unlikely he can win this position. As Nodirbeck has a passed pawn and there aren't many pieces left on the board, Magnus needs to make sure Nodirbeck's pawn cannot promote or he will be in a losing position. Magnus plays knight g5, forking white's queen and king, forcing a bishop and knight trade. This will make it easier for Magnus to stop Nodirbeck's pawn as his bishop won't be there to help out. Nodirbeck checks Magnus as it's fun checking the world champion. Magnus doesn't seem too happy about this though, but regardless of both players, this game is still completely drawn, with both players playing pretty much the best possible moves from this position. This would not last, however, as you'll see in a few moves. After checking Magnus Magnus' king, Nodirbeck plays h7, threatening to promote his pawn to a queen. Magnus could not let this happen, and with little time on the clock, played queen e5, which while it defends the promoting square, is a mistake. But only if Nodirbeck spots the move queen to d1. He misses it. The game is now equal again. Magnus now takes revenge on the checks earlier by checking the living frenzy out of Nodirbeck. He needs to keep checking so that white cannot promote. After all checks, everything seems to be fine for Magnus. It finally seems like the game will trade off and end in a hard-earned draw. But at this moment, Magnus plays the worst possible move. He moves his pawn up one square, which allows Nodirbeck to play a devastating move, Queen to D2, which forces Magnus to play the only move that doesn't result in a check. What Magnus overlooked, however, was that it did result in a check, 
just the square which his queen covered. Magnus resigned instantly. No Beck had forced a queen trade, which after trading off would allow his pawn to promote to a brand new queen, wrecking Magnus's chances of winning the 2021 World Rapid, giving the crown to a new champion, the 17-year-old super talent, Abdisatarov Nodirbek.